Y'all, we cannot blame a lot of these men today for not trusting women. Can we just take the time out to just say, okay, we get it. We understand. We see a lot of what these guys are going through. We see a lot of what these women are doing and it's too loud and in our faces to ignore it. Now, again, as somebody that is a strong advocate for marriage and family and relationships, you know, it really does pay me and break my heart to constantly see the reason why so many men just don't want to deal with marriage, relationships, women. Like a lot of men today are not even going out on dates. Like it is that bad. But when I come across content like this that displays a lot of the women being gold diggers, users, I just, I get it. <laughs> How can we be mad at the men for wanting to protect themselves? Being skeptical about a woman's uh genuine nature towards him or her interest in him like how, how can we blame the men for giving us the side eye when this represents a lot of their experiences let's get into it y'all and y'all like the video share the video and subscribe all right let's watch on full display, the interaction of a man that is presenting himself to be maybe a um, average guy, right? He has the vest on. One would probably assume that maybe he's an average working guy, average earning guy, um, average looking guy, and maybe not even look twice at him. Now, I got to say this. A lot of y'all sleep on those average looking guys, those average earning guys, those average working guys, occupational wise, because those are the guys that usually have a lot of money saved up and stashed up. You know, those are the guys who don't mind getting down and dirty and going to work. Hence why they are working the type of job they're working. You know, so don't sleep on him. Don't always just write him off because he looks a particular way that he's not going to be able to provide for you or protect you, lead you, love you, teach you. Like, don't don't sleep on it. But a lot of y'all do, and you end up blocking your blessing and missing out on the man of your dreams. But let's take a look at this, y'all, because this is what a lot of the guys are going through today, and which is why a lot of them don't trust women. They're skeptical. They don't know if y'all are just trying to use them or not. I like, damn, my leaf blower broke. How you doing? Damn, can I, why you look at me like that? Can I talk to you real quick? All right, nice talking to you. Damn, she didn't give me a chance. My damn, my leaf blower falling apart. Leaf blower falling apart, bro. Damn. It is what it is, man. Yeah, she don't come back. I'm done for the day, bro. I've been out here all day trying to get this content for y'all boys looking for these girls. Oh, hi. What's up? What car would it be? Now nah, I'm just digging in somebody random hood. <laughs> now nah, I'm just fucking with you. So what kind of work do you do with your leaf blower? Well, my leaf blower, just blow the leaves. That's all. Nothing special. So as you all can see, she completely walked clean past him, didn't even barely give him any eye contact. It was just like, uh-uh, leave me alone, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But the moment that she sees his car, his vehicle, she stops and she turns around. Now she walks all the way back to him. And now she wants to inquire about, oh, well, what do you do for work? You know, what do you what do you do with your leaf blower? So when you initially saw me with my leaf blower, you wanted to blow me off. Now you see me getting in this car, you want to blow me off. But, you know, it's just fake. 
And again, this is why a lot of the guys are like, I can't trust these females. How do you know if a woman is genuinely interested in you or she just wants you for what you have, what you can do for her? And we cannot blame them. Let's continue. Leave Laura, just blow the leaves. That's all. Nothing special. What's up, though? For real, black? You like black? Yeah. I, th I, thought, I, thought, I thought red was your favorite color. Oh, this is such a yeah, appreciate it. Y'all, yeah, everything keeps going back to his car. If you peep the game, she didn't even ask this man his name. She's so fixated on his material possessions that she's not even trying to genuinely establish some kind of connection or rapport with him. Your car is so pretty. Your car, your car. Gold diggers. And again, this is why the men don't trust y'all. Mm-hmm. My bad. Um, but yeah, it was, it was nice talking to you. Huh? I can't hear you gotta come over here. Did she just try to get in his car? And look at her face. She has an attitude. She wanted to get in his car. And was mad that he was like, uh-uh, come over here. I can't hear you. Come talk to me from here. She was trying to get into the vehicle so that she can get into his pockets and talk to him that way. She she looks obviously irritated by, you know, him like trying to make her not get in the car and actually talk to him. Craziness. You said what? I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, you trying to talk to me? Yeah, I was trying to talk to you when you was doing your leave. Oh, yeah, that's what you was doing? Yeah. Nah, you was you was like, nah, you ain't got time. You was trying to... No, you was just trying to talk to me. I was like, I'm good. How are you? Damn, you lying. I was talking to you. You walked off on me. You didn't want to talk to me. You was ignoring me. And was. And then have the audacity to lie. Like, blatantly. Blatantly in this man's face, just straight up lie. Girl, this is why I'm telling y'all, not only are these females gold diggers, users, but they're liars on top of that. You can't trust a female like that. And I'm sorry, I got to be honest enough to say that she represents the bulk. The bulk of females out here are just like this. Don't care to get to know you. Don't care what your name is, where you're from. She barely even asked about what he did for a living. Uh, what you what you be doing with your little leaf blower? That was only so she can segue into, you know, uh, can I get in your car and can you buy me something? This is ridiculous. Oh, y'all just pissed me off because y'all make women look bad. And then y'all complain about why men don't want to get married. Girl, would you marry you? No, I wish I was talk to you. Yo, where you it's from? such a pretty car. Where you from? New York. New York? It's such a pretty car. How long you been out here? Uh, for like three years. Three years? Yeah. I'm going to just get, I'm going to get out of the car. I'm going to get out of the car. To you. Oh, my bad. I ain't mean to hit you. You ain't going to sue me, huh? This is so pretty. Appreciate it. Pretty? Mm -hmm. I mean, well. If it was pink, it would be pretty or purple. So, like, uh, what you about to get into for the rest of the day? I'm going to go with you. Where you want to With go? me? So, you just self-invite. I don't know. What, what you, you want to do? What, what, what you want to do? I want to do whatever you want to do. This is a pretty car. What's your house look like? Oh. Uh, it's cool. It's nice. This real? What? Yo, jewelry? Yeah, it look fake. <laughs> you can tell, huh? No. The clarity? Wait. What are you talking wait. about? No, I'm saying you can tell that it's not fake. <laughs> I said because of the clarity. Nah, it's nice. It looks yeah, good. For sure. Yeah, nah, um, yeah, I'm not doing nothing for the rest of the day. I'm just chilling. I'm just trying to figure out, like, why you didn't want to talk to me, though? I was trying to talk to you. What are you talking about? No, you didn't. You it's, didn't want to talk to me. It's cold. Let's get in the car. It's cold. Man, it's hot out here. This lady is a liar. Okay. This is the type of female you cannot trust. You can't trust her. First of all, she lied to this man's face, talking about, oh, yeah, I was trying to talk to you. Then she lies 
to try to finesse her way into his car by saying that it's cold outside. Look at what she has on you all. Does it look like it's cold outside to you? No. As a matter of fact, she was perfectly fine and okay with walking. That's how nice it was outside. I'll, I'll walk to wherever I want to go. So for her to then turn around and say, oh, let's get in your car, you know, because I'm cold. That means she's the type of female that would lie by any means necessary in an attempt to have things go her way, to get over, to finesse, to manipulate. Then I thought it was so crazy that she immediately jumped into, well, what's your, what's your house look like? Is it nice? Oh, I, I'm ready to do whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do, I'm ready to do it. And it's all based upon what this man seemingly has. Y'all chicks today are so basic, so pathetic, so easily bought. Then y'all get mad when men treat y'all like workers. And you know what that is. This is what you act like. You act like you're for sale. Then when men treat you like you're for sale, now you're in your now you're in your attitude, you're in your feelings, talking about ah, oh, see what you're trying to say. Well, ma'am, what are you doing? It went from his car to his house to his jewelry, you know, and, and she's so fake that she's ready and willing to do anything now just because of what he has. What what man would ever want to wipe this type of female up? And again, sadly, she represents a, a bulk of females out here today. This is why men are done. This is why men don't trust women. This is why men treat y'all like workers. What is that? Huh? This is so Let's go to the galleria. The galleria for what? What, what what you doing? Why you touching all? It. Why you touching all on the handle and everything? Why you open it? You don't. That's good. See, you don't even know how to unlock it. You trying to get in here. This is so. Good. Did y'all just see how she immediately went into the whole notion of, you know? Um, let's go to the Galleria. Again, you are. Did this woman even know this man's name? She didn't. She didn't even know this man's name. Yet, she wanted to get in his car, know where he lived, and make this man take her shopping. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. And again, this really illustrates just how much a lot of women today don't value men and ultimately don't value themselves. Y'all get the likes up. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe. These women today, they don't value themselves. She was so quick to go ahead and sell herself to what she thought was the highest bidder. The video froze, y'all, so I got to re-airdrop it. But nonetheless, she, she is ready and willing to sell herself to what she thinks is the highest, build, the highest bidder. Again, she does not know his name, does not know where he's from, does not know his age, his background, does not know anything. And she was ready and willing to give her body to him. That's what she said in a nutshell. She said, I'm, re I'm ready to do whatever you want to do. As long as you pay for it, I'm ready to do whatever you want to do. Take me to the Galleria. You know, that is scary. It is really scary just how gold diggerish, right? A lot of these chicks are. Y'all are a detriment to not only society, but to yourself. This is dangerous. You don't know anything about this man. 
this man could be a whole serial exer and you and you don't know you're just ready to go down for the ride but anyway, let's continue, y'all. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. That's good. See, you don't even know how to unlock it. You're trying to get in here. This is so good. Nah, you're good. You're good. Why are you trying to get in? This is so I'm not trying to get in. I'm just looking. Oh, you just looking? Yeah, it's so pretty. you just touching on stuff that ain't sure. What if I touch on you? You can. Oh, you want me to touch on you? Yeah. Where at? Everywhere. I'm going to show you where it is. Let's go. Damn. That's, that's, cute. that's, that's all I got to do? Show you my whip. No, I said let me see your house. Come here. You got you got to prove to me you an asset first before I just asset. Yup. What you mean by that? Damn, you don't know what an asset is? No, I'm saying how how am I gonna be an asset to you? That's what I'm asking you. Yeah, how you gonna be an asset to me? Cause you got a pretty car, pretty beach, pretty jewelry, you know. But what? And I hate to keep pausing it, y'all, but it's so much to break down. This woman, this young lady, again, is ready and willing to sell herself to what she thinks is the highest bidder, just based upon his car and his chains alone. Doesn't know if this car is even his. Again, did she even get his name? I don't think so. But... What makes it even worse for a lot of women of today is the fact that they don't even know the have as far as how they can add on to a man's life in a positive way. He asked her, look, how can you be an asset to my life? You see me with, you know, my nice car, my jewelry. Seemingly, I'm the type of guy that has his life together that can provide for you and all this. But what is it about you as a woman that would make a man of my caliber, my perceived caliber, right, want to even be with a woman like you? She had no words. She had no explanation, no reasoning behind why she should be ultimately chose. It kept going back to, um, well, because your car is so pretty. It's so pretty. Your car is so pretty. I want to see your house. I'll do whatever. And I'm going to be honest. I, I would be highly surprised if she even knew the definition of an asset. All she knows is an ass and a set of titties. That's it. You mean like my ass and my titties? Like I got answer. I got to ask instead of titties. Like is that what you're talking about? No, she could not even answer that. And again, this is why a lot of men don't deal with women of today. Your users, gold diggers, manipulators, your three hundred fours, your liars. Like come on, like she is such a red flag. <clears throat> Please. And, and, and let's not get twisted, y'all. She represents a whole lot of women out there. And I feel so bad for the quality women that will ultimately be passed up because it's too many of these chicks like her out here to where all the men just automatically write us all off. That's going to do for me. Like, what's how that's going to help me? And I'm kind hearted. I'm just going to speak to you and ignore me. Really, you do owe me some time. Bro, like, Actually, you playing? And you I was literally, I was walking right there trying to talk to you. No, and you almost hit me with your Libra. So, really, you owe me a new outfit. That's crazy. Know. So, you just showing me what type of female you are. Damn. What are you talking about? Basically, you set me up. Set you up? I just. Not like set me up in a way, like, you know what I'm saying? Make it seem like I did something like. Like you just said, you said I almost hit you with leaf blower, hit yeah. you with the car. What? You saying all types of well, crazy I stuff. You did hit me in the car with the bag. You hit me in my bag. So that's what. I don't remember that. No. I don't know what you're talking about. I said we could talk about it at your house. How your house look? It look nice. It's cool. It's the house or apartment? It's a house. It's a what home. Damn. Why can't I tell you where I live? You could take me. You could show me. Take you to my house? Show me. Show you? No, I'll show you stuff. So if I show you my house and where I live, you're going to show me something. Mm -hmm. How about I just come to your house? 
yours. I don't feel like there's no good in me taking you to my house. Because why are you hiding? I'm not hiding. I'm just, you know, don't let everybody know where I live. Let me see. See what? Oh, that's real. It's good. Yeah. This girl keeps going back to his materials. Oh, let me see your watch. Let me see your house. Let me get in your car. Let me see your necklaces. This chick is trash. And then did y'all peep what she just tried to do? She just tried to blackmail him into making her, or making him rather, buy her an outfit. This is the type of chick that will set you up. You're absolutely right, sir. You need to run away from this chick with the quickness. I would not ever show her where I lived. It's nice. Chill. But, um, yeah, so, like... You can get me one. What, a ring? Mm -hmm. Like an engagement ring? Mm -hmm. A promise ring. Yeah, yeah. So now she wants to marry him? This is why, this is why men don't want to get married. You want to marry me, not based upon what type of man I am, not based upon, you know, my character and all of that, not based upon me treating you with class, decency, and respect. You're looking at what I have on, what I drive, and you want to be my wife from that? And she's already displayed the fact that she's ready and willing to lie to get her way, right? She's already displayed that she is a gold digger, a user, right? So why would any man trust her as a wife? The moment that I give you all of these things, you'll be the first type of chick to leave me for the next guy who has more than me. Hell no, I'm not getting married. And again, what makes it even more tragic is that it's so many other women out there just like her. And they're taught to choose husbands based upon material possessions alone. Y'all like the video. Share the video and subscribe. This is the problem. Ladies, this is why y'all are not getting married, getting taken out on dates, getting taken seriously whatsoever. Men see right through you. And again, this is also, and I hate to keep saying and again, but it's just so much to dive into. But again, this is why a lot of the guys out here only run through you, if that. That's another thing that she displayed, that she could be bought. Why would I trust a woman to marry like that? Go ahead, please. I'm finna get in the car. Yeah, you, you move it. Quick, huh? You different. Why am I different? Don't you like me? Nah, you cool. You cool. It's just, you know, that's not what I'm that's not what I'm looking for. What you looking for? Nothing. I was just, you know, just strolling and having to run into you. I wasn't really looking for nothing. It just So why did you hit me with your leaf blower if you was not looking for me? Nah, I ain't hit you with nothing. Yes, you did. And you hit me with the car. If you was not looking for me. So you gonna sit here and say I, no, I hit actually I should really call the cop because you hit me with your car. Oh, that's what type I of female hit... you're so you finna call the police on me for no reason? You got insurance? So now you about to do fraud? You're right. Let me... That's what you about to do? But Ain't nothing wrong with you. you know what I'm saying? Like you gave me a bruise, my arm. That's crazy. Ear, I don't want ear. You hit me too fucking hard. What? You know what's crazy? You never know. You got cash out? <laughs> no. You, you should cash out me. I was there. I pay. What the hell wrong with you? Because you just hit me with your car and with the leaf blower. You're lucky there's no cameras around here. There's cameras here. Excuse me. You see him hit me? You see him hit me, right? Oh my God. It gets worse? This chick just lie on this man and said that he assaulted her. Even tried to get a witness to back up her fraudulent claims of him hurting her. 
And again, you all, y'all could write it off as all, oh, you know, she's off the chain. Look, I'm going to keep saying this. Unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of women out there just like this. She is embodying all of the traits that a lot of chicks out here today have, which are the liars, the manipulators, right? The gold diggers, the sellers. And then to top it off, you're the type of female that would jeopardize a man's freedom because you couldn't use him? Chicks out here today are dangerous. This is why men are not taking y'all serious. Yes, he hit me. You being recorded, right? It's a camera right there. It's a camera right there. Look at it. Yeah. Now I'm just playing. Now she just playing. Caught. Caught in 4K. Now she just playing. But how many females do that, y'all? Well, straight lie on a man, all because he didn't fall for our antics. What if there was no camera around? This was also very important. I'm saying this for my brothers. It's very important that y'all are not out here leading with your wallets. Because when you do that, these females, they can be like a rat chasing cheese. And they'll use that against you. They'll play on that. Oh, you got money. Okay. Well, I'm going to lie and say that you did this and you did that. And if you don't give me your money, then I'm going to take it. I'm going to set you up. Got to be careful. Ladies, y'all are trash today. And shout out to the ones that are good quality women. Salute to y'all. But it's too many women like her. You didn't, you didn't see I that camera right it. now? What if there was no, no camera? She would have got away with this. Like so many other women do. And again, this is why men are protecting themselves from y'all. See the, see, the reason why men are not getting married, not getting in relationships, not settling down or anything of that sort is because they're ultimately trying to protect themselves. They've gotten done dirty way too many times in the past. And so this is why they're shutting off access. They're shutting off access because you are not assets. Ladies, y'all are not assets so therefore you don't get any access y'all are dangerous threats to men no i was just playing with you that's crazy what? you that type of female what? you the type of girls that be getting these nba players the nfl these artists damn that's crazy excuse me now you got you gotta go you that type. It's cool. We can end this. You gotta go. Bro. Bruh, she y'all seen that, bro? Bro, I gotta show y'all. Let me record y'all so, so I can see. But she can't see the camera because the camera is in the truck in the window. She wasn't even going that way. That's weird. Yep. And unfortunately, a lot of these chicks out here are, are just that weird. Anyway, I thought I would share that very unfortunate clip with y'all because it does illustrate how a lot of these females are out here maneuvering. It's all about how they can use you, take advantage of you, um, even lie on you to get their ways. And this is why so many of y'all will miss out on your Prince Charming, on your husband, you know. And a lot of y'all also are passing up good quality men due to what you think about them, what you think about their occupation, what you think, you know, as far as how they look and all of that. Be careful with that. Never judge a book by its cover. I feel like that also is illustrated in this clip. You know, you never know what a man has and what he can do for you. Give men a chance. Get to know them before you just write them off. Also, have a lot more class, decency, and respect for yourself to where you're not just out here trying to sell yourself.
and don't even know who this man is. Don't even know, you know, what he's about. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts, opinions, and feelings, and feedback about this clip down below. Are y'all unfortunately experiencing or running into a lot of chicks like her out here? Y'all let me know. What is your experience with this? Um, hopefully you're not. But if you are, y'all let me know and hopefully y'all can give a lot of the men out there um, insight and clarity as far as how to maneuver around these women and find the quality women that they are needing. You know what I mean? What are y'all doing to kind of, you know, do your, how can I put this, investigation or uh, inspection on the women? How are y'all vetting these women to determine if, you know, she's quality or not? You know, y'all let us know. But I love y'all. I respect y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. And remember, ladies, don't be out here judging books by their covers. Don't be out here being gold diggers and users. Don't lie on men. And be a quality and decent human being, right? And then hopefully you will be able to find the man of your dreams and live happily ever after. But this right here is not it. Much love and peace to my crown head.